this war of mine, let's continue episode 2. When we last left off, we just finished the very first day. Let's go for day 2. I had a good night. I scavenged a lot of stuff. Hopefully, I will not be... Oh, I was not attacked. And Boris is feeling better from his cold. Let's see. That guy really looks like me. Other than, again, the sweater. I'm not really the guy that uses those kind of sweaters. So, let's see. Boris, are you feeling better? Let's see. He is, even though... He slept poorly. Oh, yeah. I need to build beds. I need to build beds. Let's see if we can do that so that people don't sleep poorly. Now, I've learned this the hard way. People told me in the last playthrough that you should not feed your people unless they are starving. Because if you feed them now when they are just hungry, you will not use the whole potential of the food. So that's what I'm going to do in this playthrough. Also, because I'm having an evil playthrough. Let's go with that. Some thoughts. Our shelter is one depressingly ugly ruin. Dude, it's our home. Don't call it that. We should do something about it. We lack coffee and cigarettes. We have breaches. I know. We're just starting out, guys. You gotta calm down. So where can I make the beds? I think it's over here. I still have one place down there to improve or to open. Let's build a bed. We only need two beds. One for Boris and one for me and Katya. I'm gonna make one bed down here. This might be my place, my and Katya's place. I'm gonna build Boris' bed, bed somewhere else. Come on, I don't want my girlfriend's father sleeping right beside us. That is very awkward. Even in times of war, that sounds just wrong. So I'm going to put Boris' bed somewhere else. Normally, I do put all the beds in the same place. Because I like to focus rooms and give them a specific meaning. But not over here. Everything else is scavenged in this house. So this is going to start being the day times. Are going to start being just the times where I just improve uh, whatever I can. And build whatever I can. Cook and whatnot. Let's see. Boris... You're hungry and you slept poorly. Can I? Ooh, the trader is coming by. And Kati is a good one to go there. I have some diamonds. And diamonds, as far as I'm concerned, the only use I've found for them so far is actually selling them for money and buy something with that money. Katya is the good with bargaining skills, so let's attend the trader with her. So let's see. Let's give him the diamonds. Jewelry, they call it. And let's see what we can get from there. It's a smart thing to buy. And this is what I did in my last playthrough. Again, I'm always getting back to my last playthrough as an experience. It's a good idea to buy components from this guy. Why, you ask? Because materials in wood is one of the things you need the most at the start of the game. And occupies a lot of your backpack. A lot when you're scavenging. So I think we're going to go and get the most out of it. Let's see. This won't do, so let's take away two wood. Can I have some more mats? Uh, not so many. Let's take... Wait. Let's take one away. This will do. Parts are mostly needed as well. And I don't have anything else to trade him with. I could give him the lockpick. Not really going to need that. We could give him some water, but... That's also useful, even though we can create our own water in the future. But yeah, parts are really useful to build stuff as well. But for now, I'm going to go with this. Because, you know, if you watch this, this could be a full backpack of a night scavenge. And we want to avoid that. We want to bring other stuff than that. So, let's see. What else can I do? Let's see. What can I build over here? We could make a lockpick. We could make our first weapon, but I'm missing weapon parts. Let's see what we can build. Uh, we could build another bed for Boris, but I think I'm going to go with the oven. The crude stuff with which we can cook. Let's go with that. I'm not going to cook today, we're gonna, but I'm going to cook tomorrow, probably. Let's put the stuff over there in the kitchen, where it should be. I like to make things make sense, if you know what I mean. Let's see what else can we build, because we just got a lot of parts, materials, I mean, and wood. Let's see. Uh, we could have the rainwater collector, which would give us water in the future. That's a good investment. 
the radio tells us the news and you can also upgrade your own workshop by the way this is these are not the only things you can build we could make the moonshine still with which we can make alcohol and a simple heater but I chose the winter to come halfway through so we shouldn't be bothered by the the cold in in a long time I chose 55 days so we should only bother about the winter about on day 25 see these are the kind of things that I wish I would know because this kind of makes it clear that I know and I'm gonna act accordingly we have enough mats to upgrade we do and I have just enough the amount of parts let's do that that's a great I'm not sure if this is the right step but at least I will know why can't you keep building that oh my god I am tired let's get to bed boys is gonna do that I think Boris is going to be the one to go out at night because he's the, he's the one that can carry more stuff and he's no longer sick. There we go. We got our workshop fully upgraded. Let's see what's in there now. Now I can start boarding up the breaches on my house. Can build an herbal workshop. I have no idea if they input more new stuff that you can build there's a guitar with which you can bring up the morale trap for small animals i need parts i need an, i need a lot of parts some more wood and some more mats components they call it components i don't need anything else from the trader so i can just send them off but uh, you won't bother to stay there all day long we could already cook we could do that if we had something to burn so let's see we will burn we will burn some wood. Let's go and make three of them. You can already cook. But the thing is, I remember when the robbers come here, there's a way to stop them from stealing food. I think they don't steal meals and they steal raw food. So it's a good idea to cook as soon as possible. So let's do that. Let's actually do that. It's a good idea to do that. And I have some vegetables which will further improve the meal. So let's do that. If you use one raw food with one vegetable, it will come out as two meals, if I'm not mistaken. So that's always good. Boris actually needs to get into a diet, so I should only give food to myself and Katya. I think I've tried to find a way to kill Boris and have just me and Katya in the end. All together, make a family and survive throughout the days without my father-in-law so there's nothing else I can do I think for now so I think I'm just gonna scavenge I am gonna stay here during the night Katya's gonna stay as well and my father-in-law will go out in the night so that me and Katya can have a moment alone I will have to defend the house and they will probably start attacking my house this night so let's end the day I wish there was a way to go fast forward when I'm building stuff but uh, the game doesn't have that so I will guard the place Katya will sleep and Boris will scavenge let's go to the same place let's go to sh the shelled cottage because there's still some stuff over there to scavenge with no risk at all being attacked I can now go to new to new three places three new places I mean and there's a looted gas station, which is a place where I've never been in this game. We should go over there in the next night. I'm going to bring a crowbar because I remember we need to get into locked closets and whatnot and a locked door. All right. We have everything. This guy has a huge backpack. He has a huge package. So let's continue and let's pick up whatever we can. I'm going to give priority to components, wood and mats pretty much what we need to improve our place from the start there's a dude over there dead dead body obviously if it is dead it's a body it creeps me out let's see more food we can get some more sugar or some first initial sugar so that we can make some alcohol which is very valuable to trade with okay what do you want to do in the end on this world of mine is stack the items to the fullest in each square, you know? You want to stack them all. Let's bring this. If you have something that is stacked to the max and something that is not, you obviously want to give priority to the items that are stacked to the max. Unless, unless the item you're stacking to the max is not really important. 
Alright, let's keep bringing this. There's not too many components. Where are they? Let's see. I'm pretty sure there's more components out there. I wish this is the last time I'm coming here because after this there will be not much left to scavenge. So I don't want to return here to just pick up, you know, just a couple things. Whenever I go to scavenge, I like to bring the max I can. There are some gunpowder shell casings with which you can make ammo. And there's actually some ammunition over here. I'm gonna bring it. Who knows, in the future. There are some cigarettes. Boris wants to smoke, so let's bring it. And so far, we're good. If there's something else more important that shows up, I'm just gonna swap it. it doesn't mean that what I'm picking is what I'm gonna bring right off. Okay, I want to bring these three electric parts. So I'm gonna give away Boris. I'm gonna take care of you, take care of your health, and take away the cigarettes. Let's bring the electric parts. The electric parts is a component that you're gonna need to improve your house in the end. I say in the end because the electric parts are somewhat kind of a high-end uh, type of material. Alright, I do need a lot of components still. So I'm gonna take away seven sugar, bring some more components. And here's the hard part about this game, choosing what to bring. I'm trying to stack everything to the max. Not gonna really need herbs right now, am I? But uh, let's just open this door. As you can see over here, there's that radio's red radios. That is a sign that someone is inside making noise, but that, that actually, because it comes from the floor, I'm pretty sure it's rats and not actually people. But that will be very useful in other maps where you f where you watch people. One of the flyers drop on the city, it reads, This is a zone of anti-terrorist operation. Persons remaining in the city, I guess they mean people, remaining in the city will be treated as terrorist supporters. For your own and your family's safety, leave Pogadon. Pogadon, I like to say that name, Pogadon, immediately. The army guarantees you a safe passage. Not many believe them after the atrocities they had committed. This is, I see, somewhat a relation here with this war and the war that happened in Germany. Where they kind of give the picture that they're helping you out, but they're not helping you out at all. They just want the items for themselves to try and defeat the other guys in the war. They don't care about the civilians at all, they don't care about their own country. They just care about winning the war. I'm gonna take away these herbs. Don't think I'm gonna need them right now. Let's lastly check what is over here. And weapon parts. I could bring these weapon parts and there are some more parts over here, which I'm gonna bring obviously, and some more electric parts. Alright, I want to bring these electric parts, uh, these weapon parts, sorry, because I want to build a knife. It's the very first way to defend yourself with, the very first weapon you can get. Or, who knows, make a new weapon. Because you might find a destroyed pistol and you can only fix it with weapon parts. What am I gonna take away? I have no idea. I could take away the jewelry. I'm not gonna use this other than for trading and the guy will not show up the next day because it already showed up in the previous day. So let's bring the weapon parts instead and let's leave the jewelry over here. Alright, we're full and ready to go back home. Katya and myself have been enjoying the night and this time alone for ourselves while Boris was around scavenging stuff. And tomorrow is going to be a good day. I can feel tomorrow is going to be a good day. Ladies and gentlemen, this was the second episode into this war of mine. My own war, now with my own character. I hope you have enjoyed and I hope you are enjoying this comeback to this war of mine. Next episode will be day three. There we go. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching everyone, if you are looking for more, feel free to check these suggestions. As a reminder, if you're looking into buying games, consider using my G2A ref link in the description of this video. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you on the next one, and remember, stay above the waters.